Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I'm Miss Lisa, and this is my YouTube channel for all things math and science that I want to talk about. See how I did that? It's not all things math and science, just the things I want to talk about. And what we're going to be talking about today is using your TI-84 graphing calculator to solve synthetic division problems. So this is really fun. Now, to be able to do this, you need a program. And let me turn on my calculator. And the program is, which I think is pretty funny, it's called math. <laughs> Aren't they all math? So if you don't have this program, um, you, there are several ways to get programs. One is you can go to the TI um, website and you can download programs from their website. So, and then there's other places you might know someone with this program or you could actually, um, there's places where it's got instructions where you can write it. You, you, these programs aren't hard to write. You just type it in exactly. It's not like real computer programming. Um, it's pretty easy. I've done it. If I can do it, you can do it. Um, so anyway, you might can find instructions also to write to, um, for that. But this is a pretty common program and people, and you probably, and you might have it. So push the button that says program and look for it. Um, if you know me, like in, not just through YouTube, but you actually know me, um, I can give you the program. So, uh, you just have to set up a time with me to get it. Um, I can give you all my programs. I can copy them over to you. So I've got cables, and I can even um, give you give programs to the older TI-84s. It doesn't have to be a new one. And I can give it to the 82s and 83s. I have those cables too. So um, so if I'm like your, your teacher at school or something and you know me, I've got the cables at school. Just come by my, come by my room, and I'll give you this program. All right, so... We're assuming you've got the program. I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, what if you don't have the program and you're about to, to not uh, stick with me in this video? If you don't have the program, what you do is you graph it and you just look and see where it crosses the x-axis and you can get the answers from that too. But this is just another way to get the answers. All right, so we're going to do some synthetic division problems out of this book. You can do them out of your book. This is McDougal Littell from 2002, and we're going to do page 354, and I'm going to show you how to do several of them. All right, so we go to this one that says math and hit enter, and then we hit enter again to get it running, and there's a problem. What's going on here? What did I do wrong? If it tells you quit or go to, go to and see what the problem is. Oh, I have it running twice. It doesn't like that. Let's clear that out, and let's see if I hit enter if it'll just go. Yep, now there's a problem. Go to, still got running twice. I think I need to quit it out. Let's go back, let's do this. Let's turn off the calculator. You know, and it's still there. <laughs> let's quit, try that. One, one, enter, all right. So I think it's going to get rid of it now. Let's give it a try. We're going to go program. We're going to go to the ironic program math because, ah, there it is. Now it's only running once. And, and like, I can stop and make a new video because that didn't go really smooth. But I think it's important for you to see because a lot of times my students, they get all confused because there'll be that little message with quit or go to, and they come up to me with their calculators. What do I do? Just push the buttons. You're not going to mess anything up. Just figure it out like I just did. All right, so I hit enter to make it run, and now I go down to next page. Look at all those beautiful programs we can do. Um, and we're going to go to number two, synthetic division. All right, now, so we're going to do this problem, and it asks for the degree of polynomial, and how you tell that is if the, um, the uh, problem is in order for with descending coefficients of x, what is the highest coefficient? It's a 3, so this is third degree, so I go down to third degree and hit enter. <coughs> Sorry about that. I've made a lot of videos today. Now I started coughing. That's what happens when I talk too much. All right, so it asked me for the coefficient, so I look for the coefficient of x cubed, and it is 2, so I put in 2 and hit enter. And then it asked me for the coefficient of x squared, and that is 11. I put 11 and hit enter. Then it asked me for the coefficient of x, and I put 18 and hit enter. 
<coughs> then it asks for the constant or the bare number, and that's nine. So I put nine, enter. Now, the constant for the denominator. What The denominator is what's being divided into it. And this is a negative three. But we put the opposite sign of that. And if you are already learning how to do these problems, you'll realize why. But it's the opposite sign that you use with synthetic division. So I put three. Just three, not negative three. Okay, so now it tells me that the answer is going to be that the coefficient for x squared is 2, um, which is that right there. You see that 2 that goes with x squared? I hit enter. It tells me the coefficient that goes with um, x is 5, and that's that 5x right there. And it tells me that the constant is 3. So that's one of my factors, and the other factor is that plus three, the opposite sign of what goes into it. So there it is. There, there was my answer. Now, sometimes you can go ahead and factor that further, which they did there. Okay, so I'll show you another one. Let's do this one. So I'm going to run it again. I hit enter. Oh, and they told me the remainder was zero, and we can see that, that the remainder is zero. So I want to run it again. I'm going to hit enter. And I go back down to next page. I go back to synthetic division. And this one is also third degree. So I go down to third degree. Third degree and it wants the coefficient for x cubed. And that's 1. An understood 1. x squared is negative 2. Um, x is negative 9, and the constant, or the bare number, is 18. And then it said, what is the constant for the denominator? It's the opposite sign of this, so it's negative 2. And now it tells me that the coefficient that goes with x squared is 1. So here's x squared, and I'm putting, I have an understood 1 there that the coefficient for x is 0, so I don't have any x term. And it tells me that the constant is negative 9. So that's one of my factors. The other one is the opposite sign of the denominator of what's being put in there. So you put x minus 2. Now, x squared minus 9 can be factored again into x plus 3, x minus 3. And if you did this just with your calculator, if you just put that in, you would um, then you would see where these cross, and that's where the places where that's going to cross um, if you had multiplied those together and got one equation from it. So I really like this. It's fun. Um, you can see, let me turn over here. So like here's one where you're supposed to do synthetic division. This is what you're getting divided. So, and then that's what you divide into it. And when it's written like this, see how you do the opposite sign? And so that's where it's, it comes into that opposite sign. All right, because that's one of your factors. So I think this is really fun because you feel smart because it's an Algebra 2 thing. So have fun. Enjoy your calculator. Get good at this. And remember, math is great. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.